We're speaking with Doug Somerville from Industry and Investment New South Wales today about American Fowl Brood. Doug, once you've confirmed that you do have American Fowl Brood in your hive, what is the most important thing to do once you've had that confirmation? Okay, if, if we've identified it ourselves or a, a friend or other beekeepers identified it for us, the, the department is still not aware of the actual infection. So legally you are required to notify the department within 24 hours of becoming aware of the disease. One of the main things for identifying or, or recording where the disease is occurring in the state, the department can then put the necessary resources in that area. If the department is unaware of where the disease is occurring in the state, then th there's little hope of actually controlling where the original infections are coming from and dealing with it on a bigger scale. But once we've confirmed we've got disease, either through our own expertise or a fellow beekeeper's expertise and we're confident that they're correct or you're correct, and or you've sent the sample in and you've come back with a positive result from the lab, our options are uh, the, the hive will eventually die of its own means. What we want to do is uh, not, that, not allow that to happen because by allowing the hive to die out, it'll be robbed out by other healthy hives in the apiary or in the, around, in the surrounding area and spread the disease. So we need to eliminate the colony and our options are to burn all the material or to uh, gamma radiate the material and we have a third option of hot wax dipping the material. How do I go about therefore burning the infected material? Well first we have to kill the colony. Um, the colony, if you're going to burn the material, um, first you need to kill all the bees. There's ways and means of doing that. Uh, one method is to uh, use a cup of petrol of a night time. Another method is to actually shake all the bees into soapy water. So if I'm going to use soapy water to kill my bees, uh, just get a tub. Put some water in it. Some... Uh, Dishwashing liquid, not too much, just the same as you're doing the dishes at home, I'm sure you all diligently do. So that's nice and soapy now. The bees, as soon as they hit that water, essentially die. So in this particular case, if you wanted to uh, keep the combs to irradiate them, then we're not actually contaminating the combs. Another method which I'll demonstrate shortly is to actually uh, kill the whole colony with petrol. When you're doing that, you're actually contaminating the combs, so the combs need to be burned. So I need to kill all the bees in the colony to process this colony, whether I'm going to burn it or radiate it. Shake them into the soapy water. Preferably we've got another box where we can put these combs into that particular box. So that's a demonstration of how the bees are killed using that particular method. And the bees, once they die, they'll just sink to the bottom and, they'll, and they're not floating back off or swimming away. It's been about a minute now, and since I've shaken the bees into this particular tub, there's no point lifting it up, but the, um, you can see that there's no movement there now, and all the bees are dead. So it only took about one minute for all of these to die using this particular method of killing bees. Um, it's important to capture all the bees when you're killing them, particularly if you've got other healthy hives in the same apiary, because you don't want bees from a, health, a diseased colony drifting into the healthy colonies. So you might have to do this a couple of times, but each time take more and more combs away and store them in a bee-proof area like your garage or a shed. So we shake all the bees off the, all the combs, and then in the box as well, shake the box in there so most of the bees are now in the actual solution and they'll die.